There are a bunch of wires that each of us uses every day for charging our devices. Imagine one day they refuse to conduct electrical impulses. You wake up in the morning with a dead cell phone, you can log in to your LaGuardia website. You feel fear and anxiety. Now imagine all these devices are your legs, your hands and your breathing muscles and these wires are your peripheral nerves. Something similar happens in Guillain-Barre syndrome where a body's immune system attacks myelin, the peripheral um, fatty coverage of, of the nerve that conducts uh, electrical impulses in our body. Nevertheless, GBS is a rare but severe uh, disease. Both CDC and WHO gives up to 18% of mortality in mechanically ventilated patients. The relevance rises because of ongoing COVID-19 pandemic as a, a COVID could serve as a background infection. The WHO tries to fight the disease by conducting multiple research and providing guidelines for treatment. GBS is reported around the world. Uh, for example, in Japan, most uh, cases are related to Campylobacter jejuni, as well as in the US and Europe, they are more related to uh, cytomegalovirus infection. Patients with GBS need a long-lasting uh, physical therapy, sometimes for several months. And here I see the potential uh, dilemma when patients would we feel comfortable about dropping insurers that don't pay enough even though the patient really needs our help. Required payment are usually agreed in the contract for services. These expenses are covered by insurance company. What if they refuse to pay and the patient really needs our help? Here I see a difficult situation, but that's not the dead end. We have to offer to increase our re reimbursement to the insurance company, as well as we can offer the payment plan for our patient. We have to fight for our patient's health, as well as remember about our interest. 